Hi, my name is Peter Rea, and in this short video, I'm going to share with you how you can build your clean easy business and build it fast. Do you know there has never been a better time to build um, a substantial clean easy business? The incomes are there, the lifestyle is all around us. And what happens is people join our fantastic business, they see it, they get excited, and they think, wow, I want that as well. But hold on, well, just press pause. At the end of the day, think about this. In the corporate world, if you wanted to be a doctor, for argument's sake, okay, you would have to study for many, many years in order to gain the necessary qualifications for you to be able to earn the income that's available. Now, when Clean Easy, it's not about being a rocket scientist, not by any stretch of the imagination, but there are some things that you need to be aware of. And this training really has been inspired by a couple that's recently joined our business, a couple called Alison and Paul Taylor, who were sponsored into this business by uh, Deborah and Oliver Pusey. And Alison and Paul have had meteoric success really quickly and they've gone from 10% up to gold from building a team just within 12 short weeks. So how has that happened? And that really is what's inspired me to give the title, which is Know How or Know Where. Because of course we can all be a little bit delusional, we can want the success, we can want the trappings, but if we don't really know how to go about getting it, then we become very, very disheartened. So from 10% of gold in just 12 weeks, let me show you exactly what it is that Alison and Paul did. What's important to get firstly that this is not a training about goal setting. This is a training about goal achieving. Now, of course, there always are some success fundamentals. What is it that you want, for argument's sake, to get to gold? When do you want it? A clear, concise date. Where are you now in relation to your goal? Well, Alison and Paul were clearly at 10%. So they knew exactly where they were, and they knew exactly what they wanted, and they knew when they wanted it. Who is going to be involved in the implementation of the plan? And more importantly, how are you going to be able to do that? So there are some general success principles anywhere. What, when, where, who and how. And it's really, really important that you do get these in place. But there's one thing missing. And it's the why. You see, the why is what is your driving force. It's the fire in the belly. It's the strength of conviction. It's what gets you out of bed on the morning. And it's what gets you going the extra yard. No one ever teaches you the power of you. And when you become inspired, and when you have a strong enough reason why, all the other success fundamentals just fall into place. So what was really, really important is, is that we were able to help Alison and Paul manage their expectations so that they could plan and then they could deliver the result that they were looking to get. So let's just look at the three main factors here. If you are looking to really get stuck in in your clean, easy business, you really do need to know what's really involved. The second point you need to know is, what will you really need and what will you really need to do? And third, and by no means least, what's really likely to happen? Okay, so let's just break those down. Let's look firstly at the what's really involved. Essentially, there needs to be a plan which is agreed with someone who knows your successful upline, someone who's already shaking and grooving, okay? The next point is that you need to focus on the activity no matter what. The only thing that stands between where you are now, where you want to be, is the work that you put in. So what you need to do is almost have this go for no philosophy. Focus on the activity. Don't worry too much about the results. Just get the work into the system. Then you need to detach the emotion. Now this is something that can often be very difficult for new people when they step into team building because they really do get emotionally attached. And if someone says no, it's almost as if they're saying no to you, or you feel as if that you know, you're inadequate, or you haven't presented the business properly, and you start to develop some fears and doubts, okay? So what you have to do is learn how to detach the emotion, okay? Because when you're, when, when you're emotionally charged, okay, your rational perspective is low, and quite often, you can just completely go off on a tangent and sometimes down tools. So you need to know that you detach the emotion and just simply play the numbers. So almost be clinical. That doesn't mean lose any of that enthusiasm, 
but it means you need to play the numbers and detach the emotions and what will happen is you will get better and better because the more you play the better you get the better you get the more you win simple as that okay what you also need to do and again this is something i cannot stress enough you need to allow your sponsor to listen in on your prospect calls <gasps> Flippin' heck! And do you know what? People can quite often struggle with this one. Oh, well, well, you know, let me just get a little bit better before you listen in. No, that wouldn't be the right thing to do. We want to listen in first to help you to make the adjustments so that you can then improve your ratios from day one, not three months down the line. Just remember we're there to help you, not hinder you, not hold you back, and not to be judgmental. It's teamwork that makes the dream work. Okay, a great way to be able to do this is on Skype because I could be speaking to a prospect and someone could be listening in on Skype because you're already connected with your sponsor when they're listening and learning. Okay, so that's a great way. We do it all the time and it gets excellent results. The next thing is you have to accept that your life will be out of balance. Okay, it's got to be because you're going to be putting all this extra work into the system and there's going to be times, specific times that you're going to need to do X, Y or Z and you've got to accept in advance that there's going to be some out of balance in your life. There's going to have to be some sacrifices made. So continuing on with what's really involved. Daily communications on Skype with your sponsor is absolutely essential because it maintains energy, it maintains focus, and it also maintains sanity, okay? It's great when you're speaking to a kindred spirit, someone who's like-minded, someone who has your vested interest at heart, someone who's there helping you to succeed. Just that daily communication where you can look into the whites of each other's eyes through Skype is absolutely paramount and it works fantastic so i strongly recommend if you don't do that start doing that okay and at the end of every week and a great way to do that is thursdays because that's the end of the clean easy week is do a full weekly tracking on skype with your sponsor to go through the the number specifics how many people have you spoken to how many appointments have you been able to book okay and just look at the statistics and also go through if you already have some team members look at your gsa and let your sponsor and yourself will go through specifically and they will ask you very clear and concise questions about each team member and that will then encourage your sponsor to share with you this is what i recommend you do here this is what i would do with regard to them in particular and that helps you to have a clarity on moving forward but again it's been done as a duo it's teamwork and that helps you to make the right steps in the right direction until you become so competent and capable that it becomes second nature. Okay, something else you need to do is create opportunity daily. Sometimes we can become so tunnel visioned and focused when we're dealing with our prospect calls, we forgot to take um, opportunities when we bump into people out and about, where we can three foot rule or we can chat to a customer or we can of course speak to a, a family member who's popped round about our opportunity. Always be thinking, always be thinking who else you can share this business with whilst you're very focused and embroiled on your tasks of communicating with the prospects over the telephone. Okay. Something else that's really important is to plan every day on paper in advance. You've got to do it before you go to bed. It's absolutely imperative. Plan it down. You'll sleep better, I promise you. Otherwise, you'll lie in bed and think, I've got this to do, I've got that to do. Oh, no, I forgot to do this. Your mind will be buzzing and you'll not sleep well at all. So it helps you get a good night's sleep as well as be organised as you step into the following day. Something else as well. You have to understand that you will become massively frustrated. I remember my sponsor always said to me, your check will be determined by the level of frustration that you handle. I mean, that made me laugh and chuckle, but it's so very, very true. You will have frustrations, and sometimes you will have doubts. You look down and wonder what's happening here or what's happening there, and this person said they're gonna join it, that hasn't come back to you, and the person who you thought was a dead cert has changed their mind. It happens, you're gonna have frustrations and you're gonna have doubts. And this is absolutely normal and it all comes before success. Something I think that works absolutely essential, I've done this for years, 10 minutes every morning, YouTube. 
I look at my bookshelf, I put the name of an author, someone that I'm particularly interested in, in personal development, in motivation, in success, and I pop, the, pop it into this YouTube search, and just 10 or 15 minutes, and I get my fix, and do you know what, it sets me up for the day. It's like powerful inspiration, information, that just gets, uh, you just absorb it, and it just sets you off for the day. And then at the end of the day, I always spend 15 minutes minimum reading. Okay, so 10 minute YouTube in the morning starts the day and 15 minutes reading finishes the day. Okay, so what will you really need to do? Well, one of the most important things is you can't have anyone join your team unless you're telling people that you're looking for people, okay? So you must always have enough leads every week to facilitate your team's success system, okay, because sometimes the ratios can be 50, um, 50, 22, or 50, 10, 1, or, you know, 25, 1. It just depends on what systems you're running with. But understand your team's ratios. Absolutely essential. Understand your team's ratios and make sure that you have enough leads coming into you every single week. And you have to know that you have to commit to the investment on an ongoing basis. There are so many ways that you can generate prospect inquiries, and there's many ways you can do this for free, okay? But for you to move this business fast, you're gonna need a lot of leads, and quite often that means looking outside of free advertising into paid advertising. So you have to know how much money that is likely to commit you to every single month, okay? And you can also use your own retail to step up a little to fund that little bit of extra money to reinvest into your business. One of the things that we found absolutely essential is the use of contact managers. Okay, absolutely fantastic when we're receiving online leads, prospect inquiries, they automatically get put into our contact managers and therefore we can then send out a weekly broadcast to people looking to earn an extra income. And what we find is that this massively increases the amount of people that join our team on a, on a monthly basis, okay? So make sure that you're using these. Use the click-through reports. Before I pick up my phone and ring my prospects, I go straight onto my click-through report, I have a look, I can see every person who's clicked on any one of the links. So I know, haha, that person has received the email, there is some interest there, they've clicked on the link enough to find out what it is. Those become the people that I prioritize in order um, to move through the, the many, many people that I need to ring during the course of any day, okay? Something else that's really important as well, guys, is, you know, to maximize the phone packages that you're on. Have you got enough free minutes, which is important? Have you got text um, bundles that can help you? Because as well as making money, you also need to be aware of not spending unnecessary monies so that you can then keep investing into your business so that you can get there even quicker. Organization is absolutely imperative as well, okay? We hear people talk all the time about it's so important to use daily planners, weekly planners, to-do lists, and yet people complain all the time that they don't have enough time. And we say, and are you filled in a weekly tracker? No. Well, guys, you know, sometimes, you know, you have to take responsibility, and that's just your ability to respond to perhaps something that you um, have been resisting. But if you want to get more work done, Within a particular time frame, the way to do that is to be organized, okay guys? Absolutely essential. So get yourself organized. Something else I think is great as well is to get yourself a, a blank um, a blank piece of paper and draw on there maybe 10 circles around yourself and, 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 and fill in those blank circles every time you get a, a new team member joining you in this fantastic business. It keeps it visual, it keeps it somewhere where you can track and think, yes, that's one in, yes, that's another one, because you're making progress, okay guys, absolutely essential. Um, something else as well, is that uh, you do, and you are gonna need to develop your mental muscle, okay? You know, we can go to the gym and we can work out, um, and we can develop our physical muscle, but we need to develop our mental muscle, okay? And we do that by attending meetings, okay? And you need to have unwavering commitment to the plan, because quite often it's gonna look like it's not working. In fact, it's no different to an artist putting paint onto a picture at first. It doesn't look and resemble anything like what the end product is gonna look like, okay? And then the next layer comes on, the next layer, the next layer, and it starts to take shape, okay? So you have to understand that when you first engage on your plan, it will look like it's not working. 
but it is as long as you keep doing what you're doing and that weekly contact with the full update with your sponsor uh, is going to massively help you and reassure you that you're on track and you just need to keep going okay here's something else as well guys make sure that you keep chasing progress it may be your goal to get to uh, to goal distributor status, okay? That may be your very concise goal to qualify for one of the conferences. But in reality, the way you're going to get there is one pay plan level at a time. 10%, 13%, 15%, 18%, so on and so forth, okay? So what you need to do is, whilst you have a bigger goal, don't forget to celebrate along the way. It's absolutely essential, guys, okay? Because it continues to fuel your desire. Something else as well is you've got to get and give as much encouragement as you possibly can. Get encouragement from the, your, your successful upline. They'll, they'll provide it to you anyway. But make sure that you are providing the same encouragement for all of the people who are joining your very young and exciting new business. Because people will bend over backwards to receive encouragement. Okay, because they don't get that in the real world, do they? Okay, so make sure you give and you get plenty of encouragement as you can. Use the resources that are available. Familiarize yourself with what resources are available that's going to help you and your team members make progress. And always be mindful of the, of the different HQ um, promotions that run from time to time because it can, it can really have a massive advantage. Help people to get what they want and not what you want. I know you want to be mega successful, but they might be just happy making a few hundred pounds a month. So what's really, really important, okay, is, is value everyone and respect what it is that they want in the business. That way, when they achieve it, they'll continue with it. You have to understand that you need to keep a great work ethic. It's absolutely essential. In fact, that's, an, that, that's just almost like a foregone conclusion. You can't achieve success without a great work ethic, okay? But what's important also is to get involved. Get involved in the conference calls. Get involved in the easy reach. Get involved in the meetings. Start to contribute and establish your own credibility as it grows within your, uh, your sponsor's overall team and within your team. Start to take some leadership, okay? And always keep your eye on the ultimate prize. It's absolutely essential. If you're having a bit of a bad day, just remember why you're doing it and why you're working so hard and what it's going to be like when you get to the other side. So what's really likely to happen? Well, you're going to experience some team growing pains, okay? Because the more people that you share this business with and they all join, you're going to have lots of people who you're communicating with on a regular basis that some of them are going to be having some challenges. So you're going to have some growing pains. Accept that. It can sometimes drive you mad a little bit. And if you haven't already listened to my um, famous bus trainer, I recommend you get that. It's all about the different types of people that join your Clean Easy team. It's really interesting. You'll, you'll enjoy it. But more importantly, you'll get massive value from it. Realise that we also judge people on what they do and not what they say. Oh, I'm going to make you rich, right? I'm going to build a massive business. It's great to hear, but at the end of the day, we judge people on what they do, okay? It's about the walkers, not just the talkers. You learn to really value your sponsor like never before. You'll fully appreciate the value of when you make a commitment, the commitment that your sponsor will make to you, and you'll definitely respect their achievements. Because, like anything else, true success doesn't come easy, but it's worth it. Something else you need to do is you need to develop faster. Um, you will, sorry, develop faster than ever before because you're, you're suddenly involved in this fantastic, fast-moving pace of understanding, learning, and helping other people in the business. So you're going to develop faster than ever before, and you're going to really start to feel like you are completely in control. You'll suddenly realize that, you know what, I can do this. I can, I can forecast when I'm going to move up to the next level and up to the next level when our income reaches a certain point. And that's because you've been learning and developing the skills. What you'll come to realise as well, that there's no such thing as an unrealistic goal. You'll just realise that you can achieve anything that you put your mind to. Uh, you'll just, get, I guess you'll just understand that there's, there's just unrealistic timescales. Because sometimes people can think, well, I want to be goal by next week. Of course, it takes a little bit of time, um, but everything is possible. And you're going to experience success. And that's what it's all about. That's what you're doing it for. And you will absolutely love it. You'll be proud of yourself. 
and you'll want more. And that's all Alison and Paul have done. 10% um, to gold in 12 weeks. This is what they have done. And if they can do it, you can do it. And I wish you all the very, very best success for your future.